What's up, yo yo squad? Welcome back to another Bone Beach Warships video. As you can see, I'm back with my main account again and not having building health really really hurts. I dropped from diamond rank, I was like mid 21. I dropped all the way down to the rank 20 with like five or six stars, something like that. And then I got building health 49 well 50 minutes ago this was my first battle with the building health and after that i'm pretty pretty happy actually with the outcome over here more wins than losses so roy roy gg buddy sorry about that i think gauzer is also one of my guys kaiser i'm not quite sure if he was in a sugar ship or he actually is not anymore I'm I can't remember I'm gonna show you couple replays on the no building held basis I'm running the warriors and on a building held basis I'm running the rifles and bombardiers I will show you my tech tree in a second but my my bombardiers are not maxed and my rifles are not maxed also so let me show you my tech tree real quick rifles only tick two brick or well, not brick bullet only tick three two tick two sorry no green mines no nothing i do have the extra gb no troop health <laughs> Bombardiers only take four and that's about it Tomorrow, I'm gonna grab myself these but with the next chest I'm gonna max out my bombardiers for 200 extra DPS and then I'm gonna go for this I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna go for this I might skip that and go for this instead, but we will see I think this and this will give me more and then this But we will see how all that goes in the meantime, let me show you a couple more attacks. This is the first time I use diddles on my attack. Yeah, there they are. The reason why I want to grab myself the how they're called the critters is because of this engine room over here is so unprotected. And also a couple of these engine rooms up on top are pretty much unprotected, so we will see how that goes. Diddles are actually a lot easier to do. That you can just flare stuff. I had a whole bunch of diddles dying at the end, but that's the boom gun sacrifice, and Pete would be proud of me for that one. Then, okay, this is another no building held base. I'm currently on a boss fight for diamond to get back into diamond so we're gonna do it live hopefully this is a pretty standard base and warriors just run through those pretty pretty easily without building health but with the building health it's actually a little bit more hard but we will see how all this goes let's jump into some live attacks hopefully Q toms are not gonna be that terrible. They were decent when I was playing like 20 minutes ago. So let's see how everything goes now. All I wanna do now, well, actually, I might even go and try to push a little bit into the diamond, but we will see. Okay, this is this one. Let's do these. Okay, let's go one, one, two, three, flare over here, bullet, get this guy out, okay, get the next boat out, I'm gonna barrage down one, two, three, that engine room way up on top, needs to go down, let's get another boat of these guys, we need them to clear the shock mines for us. And boom mines so the bombardiers don't die actually and let's 
stop the next boat. We actually lost two bombardiers so far. Not that bad. We should be good. One, two, three. Okay. I'm gonna clear a little bit and then I'm just gonna start flaring. I think I can start flaring right now. I'm gonna use this to get that shock blaster off of me. Okay. Flare next. Let's do another one of these. And we're gonna have around 240 something. 247. Okay, that's pretty decent time I would say, but I've seen some guys hit me in 250 something, so let's see. And yep. And we got him by one second. Okay, that's cool. We will take those one second wins, that's for sure. I might actually go and move my ER a little bit up so they don't something well this one way over here so they don't flare it straight away and also I'm gonna move all this a little bit more up so they don't get that much of a split or that good split right at the start okay this guy a little bit more down. Maybe we can kill some bombardiers on the last Hail Marys. Or maybe even put some of the splash damage over there because machine guns are actually gonna kill the bombardiers. But let's give it a try and see if we can win some more. I wish I have the bombardiers maxed out. Nowadays, well not nowadays, but from the last 10 attacks that I had, not many guys is running the War on oh, Warriors, the rocket choppers. So let's see how we can, if we can take advantage of that. Flare over here, drop the rest. One, two, one, two. Okay, now barrage down one. And one, two, reflare, taunt over here. Okay, I'm gonna flare this MG over here so we can have some nice split from here. And now it's just gonna be flaring from ER to ER right after this one drops. And let's flare lost engine room, drop copper couple artilleries do a taunt for these two defenses and 314 just like that pretty pretty easy like I said without building health those bases are really really easy so I think I have a chance on getting higher into the diamond which would be great and <laughs> just when I was saying that not too many guys attacked me with the rocket choppers here is a guy with the rocket choppers and he's pulling the retreat so that's good he's clearing the shock mines for bullet well done buddy he doesn't want to waste any of the time and let's see how many stars not too much only 12 stars okay let's do one more attack because it seems like those Q toms are not that terrible and we're probably gonna face another guy with the building health but it doesn't matter I guess we are gonna try our best and do our best to win and also those critters are gonna be huge huge help either even for clearing the mines or taking down the yours we will see how all that goes not quite sure about the seekers if the seekers are gonna be a thing maybe they are especially since we have so much gb and we have barrages artilleries and everything else to clear the mines shock mines and everything else but who knows i might be wrong 
I might not, but Seekers might be a good thing. Okay, seems like this last battle is not gonna be as fast as I was hoping for. Let's see. Okay, here we are. He's got the building health. Okay, he's got this. He's got everything actually. But let's load out these guys. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm gonna stick with that. And let's go. One, two, three. This guy, this guy. This guy. Okay. Let's see. I might even try to clear some of those mines for my rifles so they don't get killed right away. Okay. Let's drop next boat over here. Not liking this where they are going because it's gonna be a little bit slower time, but we will see how all this goes. Let's drop the next boat. And let's start barraging one, two, and three. We're gonna need three artilleries for that also. So let's see how all this goes. Okay, let's flare this machine gun over here. One, two, three. Reason why I'm flaring the machine gun is we're gonna have a whole lot better split. And let's flare, let's just flare clear everything there is no need to waste any time even though we are already way too slow flare the last engine room do the taunt drop couple artilleries but we are already way too slow 230 is not gonna do the job so this was a really really good base layout okay that's gonna wrap up the video for today guys I hope you did enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yo yo out, peace.